Climate change is causing extreme weather worldwide, like more severe floods in cities across Southeast Asia, putting communities at risk. One way to help save lives is to establish a flood early warning system, or FEWS. To be effective, it must be designed to serve everyone, especially the most vulnerable. This is why the Aussie and Australia Smart Cities Trust Fund, with the support of the Australian government and the Asian Development Bank, together with Ramble and Practical Action Consulting, is assisting the city of Baguio in the Philippines to develop a smart and inclusive FEWS. The project conducted a gender inclusion study to identify the missing voices that often go unheard in urban planning and to understand how flood risks relate to gender, social exclusion, and inequality. The study led to practical policy recommendations based on key findings grouped into eight categories, which include improving people's understanding of risk and their preparedness for safe evacuation. The recommendations from the Baguio Gender Inclusion Study were very useful for us. We found the tools and approaches used in the study are unique and have allowed us to understand vulnerability and marginalization in Baguio City in a really meaningful way, which could be relevant for our cities as well. So, how can cities apply a gender transformative approach to FEWS planning? A gender transformative approach involves developing actions that are grounded in understanding of the needs of the most vulnerable. It is premised on collaboration with and the empowerment of affected stakeholders, leading to transformative actions and outcomes. After conducting a study on gender and inclusion, here are the five key steps adopted in Baguio to support the city's journey towards a gender transformative FEWS. One, identify your city's key FEWS stakeholders. These include people and organizations representing marginalized and vulnerable communities, those from community-based organizations, NGOs, and other groups that give voice to the experiences of women, persons with disabilities, older persons, and the like, along with stakeholders from agencies who provide risk information, communicate warning messages, and plan evacuations. Their involvement helps to ensure everyone's needs are considered in the design of the FEWS. Two, discuss with your key stakeholders. Share background information on your city's FEWS, including important recommendations from the study, to help stakeholders better understand the aspirations for an inclusive FEWS. Provide them with a list of recommendations that are within their scope and an information sheet with instructions on what to do next. Three, give key stakeholders time to self-reflect. Allow them to brainstorm on the recommendations with their colleagues. Doing so creates greater ownership of their actions, making it more likely for them to follow through. Four, collectively and iteratively review draft actions. Schedule meetings with stakeholders to discuss their proposed actions, clarify their roles and responsibilities, and define potential collaborations with other stakeholders. They should agree on specific short-term actions that are achievable with available resources and long-term actions requiring additional funding or capacity building support. Five, agree on ways forward. Combine all agreed actions into one document in order to map out any overlaps and identify potential collaborations. This is an opportunity for all key stakeholders to collectively review the identified actions, confirm next steps, and better understand how their actions contribute to the creation of an inclusive FEWS. Following these steps can help ensure that all stakeholders are represented in the FEWS planning process and understand their responsibilities, collaborators, and the resources they need to implement these actions, helping to realize a truly gender and socially transformative flood early warning system for their city. This exercise helped us to realize that there is really a need to actively engage key stakeholders for us to proactively incorporate the needs, priorities, and capabilities of marginalized gender groups. This ensures that we are helping to magnify their voices at every stage toward a more inclusive flood early warning system.